Julie Chen, everybody, Julie Chen. I mean, you. really, good. you look Thank much you. better as yourself. I don't like you as a middle-aged man. <laughs> Even with the blue contact lenses well, in? Well, uh, it's nice, but, you know, the balding and the hat, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it's a little disturbing. What were you doing? We were. We had a reunion show with the whole cast of The Love Boat. Right. Did you ever watch? I, I, I did. We did it something here. We got, I did Captain Scoob, Sto Scooby. Captain Scooby. Where's, where's my Captain Scooby? Uh, That was, uh, we did it. So you know. Yeah, we did it ages ago. We did our own version. We had, we had the cast reunite on you our had the, show. You had the cast there. That's fantastic. And if you, if you like what we did then, tune in this Thursday because we are all getting in costume again for, I can't say which classic TV show. But Is it Scooby-Doo? Maybe. <laughs> we're having another reunion show and we will be um, dressed up. So. What? Where did you get all the money for this? <laughs> it's like, I got enough for a horse and a, and a scale. Those are rentals. Those are... Oh, really? Those yeah. are in the... I wonder if it's CBS stuff. I bet you the what I wore as Captain Steubing is the same as you wore as Captain... Probably. Did it smell I a bit like me? Yeah, it was a little musty. Yeah. I think nah. Captain Steubing wore it. <laughs> was that a CBS show? I can't remember. No, it was an ABC show. Oh, uh, back when ABC had that show. <laughs> you were going to say something not nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm always going to say something not <laughs> nice. I, I feel like I'm, I'm trying to edit myself a lot these days. I'm trying to be nice. Why? I don't know. I'm trying to put a, a positive year? energy into the world. It's kind of a New Year thing, yeah. Well, it's Chinese New Year, isn't it? Yes, by the way, this is Secretariat's year. Is it? Oh, yeah, it Year of the Horse. Year of the Horse, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, this is Secretariat's year. What, uh, and I looked up what year you were born in. Tiger. Yes. I'm the year of the tiger. Yes, you are. Growl. <laughs> what are you? Well, I prefer to call the animal a rooster. Other people say it is the year of the... <laughs> For me, Julie, that's every year. <laughs> so I've heard. <laughs> What have, you, what, what have you heard? No, you said it like, so I've heard, like you heard something. What have you heard? No, it's been a long time since I used... Anyway, so you got the... Uh, did you do anything special? You're, you're, uh, you're Chinese? Did you yes, do anything... Yes, you know, I went down to my mom's house and she prepared a big feast. And you have to eat special foods that are considered lucky. Oh, yeah? For example, there is actually um, seaweed that looks uh, finer than angel hair. And we call it to, we call it um, tofa cai, which oh. sound, which direct translation is hair vegetable because it looks like hair. All right. Uh, but because the last two words fa cai means like things are like going up, like it's 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 lucky, it's good. All oh, right. Uh, right. Not necessarily things are going up. Well, <laughs> not to get back to that topic, no. That's a, that's a different year that's entirely. Different year. Yeah, I. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, man. Hang on, I'm just going to think about it for a minute. <laughs> you having a good time at the talk? Everyone working out? You girls getting along okay? Yes. We're oh, having come a great on. Time. No, we Nah, are. come on. If there was any drama, you would read about it or hear about it. Do you get do you, are the paparazzi around there a lot? Are there a lot of kind of gossipy, in, like people sneaking around trying to get juice? No, you know, I, I think because we're on a secured lot, but it seems as if the paparazzi always seem to find Sharon Osbourne, no matter where she is. Now, here's the eternal question. Do the paparazzi find Sharon Osbourne, or does Sharon Osbourne <laughs> find the paparazzi? <laughs> now, you know I love Sharon. Yes, I know you, you do. You know I love Sharon, but I ask the question in all seriousness. Uh, perhaps, you know, there's a sort of well, I know you're going to be there, and you know I'm going to be there. <laughs> there are those who do that. There are people that do that. I don't yes. think Sharon does that. No, but she I, doesn't I, need to. Yeah, she doesn't have to. But, yeah, they, but there are people who do it. I think that, you know, they're going to phone up. Do you ever, you ever uh, run into the paparazzi? Ever had a hard time with them? 
You know, we always get um, caught by TMZ, and they've been very good to us outside certain restaurants, and they know that my husband is always going to be good for a funny sound bite. And they put him on the spot about things. Yeah, you, your husband, who of course is my boss, um, <laughs> is one of the most charming, intelligent, and funny people I have ever. Yes, I it, agree. Uh, absolutely. I mean, girls, did you ever win a prize right there? <laughs> Is that enough? Have I done enough? <laughs> yeah, that's enough. Enough sucking up. <laughs> Just the right amount. No, I think it was too much. You don't want to do too much. I think people get uncomfortable. Do you, don't you get uncomfortable when people are I sucking do. up around you? I feel like, what are you hiding? Like, I feel like I see right through it. You're right. But there are some people who are very good, and I find men are more susceptible to falling for that than women. Well, uh, yeah, because women are used to it. Women have been hearing it for a long time. I mean... Everybody has been coming at you since you were, what, 15, 16 years old with an agenda. Every man you meet is like, hey, how you doing? <laughs> no. Yeah, a little bit. So. Yeah, a little bit. So. And, and I think women kind of get used to it. They understand they have to be able to read signals more than just, whereas men are just like, oh, great. Yeah. Men are like, are like puppies. They're yeah, like a little bit. Like, oh, you think I'm great? Boy, oh, thanks, let's get married. <laughs> At least I've done that a couple of times. <laughs> but you learned. You got it right. Yeah, yeah, I got it right time. eventually. Yes. Yeah, I find someone who doesn't think I'm that great, <laughs> and, and that's the way you should go. I think I've said too much. Yes. <laughs> we have to take a have. break. We'll be right back with Julie Chan, everyone. <laughs> talking to Julia about feng shui, which is uh, like you have everything feng shui to, in your house and the... Yes, feng shui is the art of, um, I believe in the placement of objects will dictate the, you know, the luck or bad luck in your life. Uh, uh, feng shui means feng is wind and shui is water. So, you know, that's the elements. There's water, right. fire, you know. Air and uh, regis. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the most powerful the most one. powerful of all <laughs> the elements, yeah. <laughs> and it screams! Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I believe in feng shui. A lot of it is my mother believed in it growing up. So I've had my house feng shui, but it's been a struggle getting my husband to sign up, sign on with everything. I can't see Les Moonves with the feng shui. I just no, can't see no, it. No, no, he, he does it. Well, the line that works, uh. and this is for all wives out there listening, if you and your husband disagree about something, all you have to do is tell your husband, but it makes me happy. <laughs> What are they going to say? I don't want you to be happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you, yeah, yeah, it's you. It's like wouldn't. game over. It's like, but it makes me happy. Do you guys like get together and decide this stuff in a secret <laughs> club or something? No, I learned that one on my own, and then I've been trying to pass it on. No, no, I think ones. I think it makes perfect sense, and now I can see why I've been manipulated. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> have you heard the line? Yeah, I have heard the line, but the th the truth it is actually true though as well, because you do want your wife to be happy. So you know, if you say it makes me happy, you go, well, what difference does it make? Fine, if right, it makes it, you happy. Right, and right. if you guys said it. To us, we would say fine also. You know, if they yeah. said... <laughs> well, yeah. it depends. Some things, maybe not. I don't know, because I can think of at least one scenario <laughs> that I could take to my wife and say, but it makes me happy. And she'd be like, I don't care if it makes you happy. <laughs> this is true. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Julie, it's great to see you. It's you look always, sensitive. It's always great being Julie here. Julie Chan, the talk, everybody. We'll be right back.